In this video, we're going to be talking about atmospheric safety, how to clean and protect the air around you, specifically making sure that there isn't a buildup of dangerous dust, contaminants, or smoke in the air that you and other people are breathing. When it comes to running a laser safely, managing fumes is just as important as eye protection. Let's talk about how to get it right. First, the fan. The best choice for laser exhaust is a centrifugal blower. These are designed to overcome static pressure from long duct runs, bends, and filters. Axial fans, the kind you see in box fans or computer fans, move a lot of air in open space, but stall quickly against resistance. They can work as helpers, but shouldn't be used in your main exhaust. Considering placement is also vital. It should always be placed at the exit point or outside the building if possible. This keeps your whole duct run under negative pressure where air is being pulled through. If you put the fan on the laser end, you're pressurizing the hose and every little gap becomes a leak point for contaminated air. Keep your ducting short, straight, and smooth walled whenever possible. Every bend adds resistance and flexible dryer style hoses add turbulence that slow air down. A smooth run means stronger airflow and fewer fumes hanging around. Additionally, don't forget about the air you're exhausting. Every cubic foot you push outside has to be replaced. If you don't bring in fresh air, you'll create a vacuum in your shop. You'll notice that fumes linger and swirl rather than being properly exhausted, which is a big problem. For small hobby setups, cracking a window or a door is usually enough. For larger systems, a dedicated makeup air vent is the safe choice. What about fume extractors? These are portable units that use a series of filters, usually pre-filters, HEPA, and activated carbon. They're convenient when you can't vent outdoors, but they do have limits. Filters clog fast when cutting smoky material like acrylic or MDF, and carbon doesn't capture every chemical. Many hobby-grade extractors are underpowered for medium and large-sized lasers. That said, they can reduce exposure if maintained properly. Change filters on schedule, Keep an eye on airflow and don't expect them to replace a real external vent. Industrial grade extractors can be effective, but for most users, external exhaust is the gold standard. Finally, a quick few extras. Install a backdraft damper so outside air doesn't blow back in. Clean out your ducting to prevent soot buildup and reduce fire risk. And if you run multiple machines, size your fan system accordingly. At the end of the day, the goal is simple. Capture the fumes, move them out, and replace the air with something that's safe to breathe. That's how you keep your shop and your lungs in good shape. And I'll see you in the next one.